Now, in this problem, they are given that tan x by 2 equals to cosec x minus sin x. If we simplify, we are going to get. So, the numerator is coming to cos square x and the denominator is coming to 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2. Is it clear? Tan x by 2 can be written as. Now, I am cancelling cos x by 2 from both sides we get. Is it clear? Now, 2 sin square x by 2 can be written as 1 minus cos x equals to cos square x. So, we are forming a quadratic equation in cos x we get. Now, solving we are getting cos x equals to cos x can be written as minus 1 plus minus root 5 by 2. Now, since cos x always lies between minus 1 and 1, hence rejecting the value minus 1 minus root 5 by 2. So, we are getting cos x as root 5 minus 1 by 2. Is it clear to all of you? Okay. Now, you see tan square x by 2 can be written as 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x. Now, I am replacing the value of cos x we are getting. So, after simplification, we are going to get. So, we are having 3 minus root 5 by 1 plus root 5. Is it clear? Now, rationalizing we get. Four root five minus eight divided by four. So we are having root five minus two as the final answer. Is it clear? Therefore, the value of tan square x by two is nothing but root five minus two. Is it clear to all of you? Let us move for the next problem. Now, before starting this problem. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe it and hey, press the bell icon to get notified about my new upload videos. Don't forget to like and share our videos. Here we have to find out the value of which can also be written as, is it okay? Now, 2 cos square theta can be written as 1 plus cos 2 theta. Putting the value of cos pi by 4 we get. Is it okay? Therefore, my final answer is, is it clear? Okay, let us move for the next problem. Here we are having cos 290, I am writing it as 270 plus 20 degree. Similarly, for sin 250 degree, we are writing it as sin 270 minus 20 degrees, right? So, we are having is it clear to all of you? Now, taking LCM we get. Now, see what I am doing here. Now, I am replacing root 3 by 2 by sin 60 degree and half by cos 60 degree. And in the denominator, we are getting root 3 by 2 sin 40 degrees. So, in the numerator, we are having sin 60 minus 20, that is 40 degree, divided by root 3 by 2 sin 40. Therefore, the final answer is 4 by root 3. Is it clear to all of you? Okay, let us move for the next problem. Here, we have been given that x plus 1 by x is 2 cos theta. So, that implies I am forming a quadratic equation in x, we get x square minus 2 cos theta into x plus 1 equals to 0. So, by solving we are going to get the value of x as, so we are having, is it clear? So, we are having here as cos theta plus minus iota sin theta, which is equals to e to the power plus minus iota theta. Is it okay? Now, 
x to the power n plus 1 by x to the power n can be written as so we are having is it okay now we can write e to the power plus minus iota n theta as cos n theta plus minus iota sin n theta plus cos n theta minus plus iota sin n theta So, after opening the bracket, we are going to get 2 cos n theta. Is it clear? Therefore, the required value of x to the power n plus 1 by x to the power n is nothing but 2 cos n theta. Is it clear? Let us move for the next problem. Here we have been given sine 47 degree and sine 25 degree. I am taking in one bracket sin 61 degree and sin 11 degree, I am taking it in another bracket. Is it clear? So, applying sin c minus sin d formula, we are getting, again applying sin c minus sin d formula, we are getting, is it clear? Now, let me take 2 cos 36 degrees common. So, we are having sin 11 degree plus sin 25 degree. Again, we are applying the formula sin c plus sin d here we are getting. So, we are having, now replacing the value of sin 18 and cos 36 we get. So, we are having, which is nothing but cos 7 degree, right? Which is nothing but your right hand side. Have you understood this problem? Okay, let us move for the next problem. Here alpha and beta are two different roots of the equation a cos theta plus b sin theta equals to c. Therefore, alpha and beta must satisfy this equation. Since alpha and beta are two different roots of this equation, hence it must satisfy. Therefore, a cos alpha plus b sin alpha equals to c. Again, a cos beta plus b sin beta equals to c, right? Both are equals to c. Therefore, we can say these two are equal. So, I am taking a cos beta in the left hand side and b sin alpha in the right hand side we get. Now, I am applying cos c minus cos d formula we get. And we are applying sin c minus sin d over here, we are getting. Now, from both sides, we are cancelling 2 sin beta minus alpha by 2. So, we are having, let me say this is equals to k. So, we can write sin alpha plus beta by 2 is kb and cos alpha plus beta by 2 is Ka. Now, I am squaring and adding the corresponding sides of these two equations we are getting. So, K square is nothing but 1 by A square plus B square. Now, from these two equations we are getting, multiplying 2 in both sides we get. So, this is the formula of sine 2 theta that is, sin alpha plus beta and in the right hand side we are getting 2ab by a square plus b square because I have replaced the value of k square by 1 by a square plus b square. So, we got it as 2ab by a square plus b square. Is it clear? Okay. Now, let us move for the next problem. Here we have A equals to and B equals to, I am squaring and adding the corresponding sides we are getting. Opening the bracket we are getting. So, we are having 1 plus cos theta can be written as 2 cos square theta by 2. Is this clear? Now, 
the value of 4 minus a square plus b square divided by a square plus b square will be cancelling 4 from numerator and denominator we are going to get which is equals to 10 square alpha minus beta by 2. That implies 10 alpha minus beta by 2 is plus minus under root 4 minus a square minus b square divided by a square plus b square. Is it clear to all of you? Hence proved. Okay. Let us move for the next problem. Here we have to find out the value of cot. 142 and half degree which is equals to cot which is equals to minus cot 37 and half degree which is equals to minus cot 75 by 2 degrees is it clear now cot theta can be written as multiplying numerator and denominator with 2 cos 75 by 2 degrees we get 2 cos square theta can be written as 1 plus cos 2 theta. 2 sin theta cos theta can be written as sin 2 theta, which can also be written as. We all know that the value of sin 15 degree is root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2, and cos 15 degree is root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2. Therefore, putting those values here, we are going to get. So, we are having, now I am rationalizing, is it clear, which is your right hand side, proved, okay, let us move for the next problem. Here we have been said that cos theta equals to, now we have to show that one value of tan theta by 2 is tan alpha by 2, tan beta by 2, is it clear? Now to get tan theta by 2 from cos theta, we need 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta, yes or no? Because 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta will give you tan square theta by 2. Is it clear? Okay. So, let me just go for component and dividend we are going to get. After factorizing, we are getting. Now, 1 minus cos alpha by 1 plus cos alpha will yield 10 square alpha by 2. And 1 minus cos beta by 1 plus cos beta will yield 10 square beta by 2. And in the left hand side, we are going to get 10 square theta by 2. Therefore, your 10 theta by 2 is plus minus 10 alpha by 2, 10 beta by 2. Thus, one value of 10 theta by 2 is 10 alpha by 2, 10 beta by 2. Proved. Is it clear to all of you? Okay, move for the next sum. To find out the value of 10 pi by 5 plus 2 10 2 pi by 5 plus 4 cot 4 pi by 5. Let us, for our convenience, let us take pi by 5 as my alpha. Therefore, we have to find out the value of 10 alpha, 10 2 alpha, 4 cot 4 alpha, right? Okay. Let me start the problem from cot alpha minus tan alpha is what? It is basically after taking LCM we are getting. Hello? Is it clear? Okay. So we are getting basically cos 2 alpha by sin 2 alpha multiplying 2 in the numerator and denominator. Is it clear? So we are having 2 cot 2 alpha. So we are getting cot alpha is basically tan alpha plus 2 cot 2 alpha. Is it clear? Similarly, what you can write as cot 2 alpha. 
cot 2 alpha can be replaced by, look it carefully, if cot alpha is tan alpha plus 2 cot 2 alpha, then cot 2 alpha will be tan 2 alpha plus 2 cot 4 alpha. Is it clear or not? Now, if I open the bracket, is it clear? So, we got tan alpha plus 2 tan 2 alpha plus 4 cot 4 alpha is nothing but cot alpha. Cot alpha means it's cot pi by 5 and that will be your answer. Okay.